Okay, oil, fan belt, strainer and coolant are done. Open engine seacall. Correct. AC cable is aboard. Radios on. Are they on? Yes, they are. Instruments, Annie switched on. All hats are secured. Done that. Gimbal cooker gas off. All sea cops closed to engine. Toilet seat down. Spinnaker lines, furling lines. Yeah. Uh, and sail cover. Yep. All done. Sail cover is not open yet. Okay, so it just looks like the life jackets. So that just needs the life jackets. So Bev, everything's ready. Except me. Are you not ready? I don't have any clothes on. Well, <laughs> that beggars to belief, but yeah, you're right. You haven't got salopettes, so we haven't got those on, have we? Nope. Right, okay, so we're not ready. Oh, God. We try and get the boat ready, and then what, what happens? We're not ready. Okay, Beverly, so are you ready now? <laughs> the boat? Probably. Me? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, start that engine, girl. Right, well, our alarm isn't working. Add it to the maintenance list. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's not get alarmed about that. Okay, starting. Hey! I am so rusty, it's ridiculous. Uh, I wasn't standing the right way. Basically, it's better to stand backwards, facing the stern, so you think. And I just, oh. Panic! 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 But, oh, I'll have to get some more helm time. Screwed the, screwed the hell out of me, that's for sure. <laughs> Scared the boat next door too, but... No you didn't, there was nobody on it. Oh yeah, <laughs> Anyway... Oh... Well, let's lovely clear the prop off. One crisis down, let's get out of this marina. One crisis down, let's hope there isn't a second one to come. Absolutely let's get not. Them. Are we going to tidy these lines then? Yes, I'll do that then. Okay. Oh. I know we don't need to go to the fuel pond soon, but maybe we should just... Uh... Let's go ahead and skip back. Yeah, I think if we aim for them roughly, yeah. then we can hoist them in. Yeah. 
What do you think? Sounds like a plan. Do you want to steer or hoist? Oh, let me just tr I'm gonna I'm gonna hoist. And then I'll give you a bit more of the wind. Get some of the tension out there, that should help. That should be nearly there. Yeah, you're not far off, another metre to go. Oh right, okay. There we go, that's not too bad. Ah, I know what we haven't done. Oh. Topping lift. We're in neutral. Alright. Okay, you can tidy up the ropes. I'm going to go and put the kettle on. Hey! <laughs> now don't blame me one bit. Will we be okay with that engine? Yeah, I'm going to be turning it off in just a few right, seconds. Well in that case then, I'm going to start this camera. And we're just going to do a little piece of camera. Okay. Oh, Beverly! What did I just say? Oh, you've already got it going. I wanted to say to you, get that engine off. Oh, never sorry, mind. I thought you wanted the engine off to do your piece of camera. No, I wanted to, never mind, never mind, doesn't matter. Look, it's, it's going to be that sort of day. Yeah. Just acknowledge it, it's going to be that sort of day. Yeah. Where we're rusty on filming, rusty on... Everything. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, hopefully I'm not rusty on putting the kettle on. Make sure you're not. <laughs> <laughs> there are limits around here, you know. Oops, I've seen it. Okay, I'll fix that. What's that? Another potential cock up on the good ship Shambolic. Oh, yeah. yeah, the starboard Jenny sheet is running under the fender step. Oops. Jam it removed. What I'll do with the fender step is I'll jam it between the shroud and the uh, coach no, roof. Can, yeah, okay, well, you can take it off as well, don't forget. All right. Put it in the locker. So it's a calm day, very overcast, very little wind, there's a bit of a sea mist going. Um, other than that, nothing to report. There's not even a crab pot near us, which is rather amazing. Yeah, but we're out and we're we sailing. Are. We're out and we're sailing, like I say. And if the wind picks up, well, we can ease out the main. We've got two reefs and Jenny. We're fine. Well, welcome to uh, Good Ship Shambolic today. <laughs> it is a bit. <sighs> Let's see. We're a bit rusty. I think that's being kind. Yeah. To be, well, to be unkind, you might want to be stay more than a nautical mile away from us. <laughs> Maybe two. But the main thing is we're sailing, and although I was really keen to get that engine on, I was just as keen to get it off. The engine did its job. It got us out here. Exactly. But it's a very, very still day. Um, we've got nine knots of wind on the beam. We're Due to our rustiness, we've put the full main up, we've got a second reef in the Jenny, and you may say, well, if you've got nine knots, what the name of God have you got a reef in for? The answer is, it's a big Jenny. Um, if we pulled it fully out, it'll be partly shielded by the main, and it just won't do anything. It's a lot of cloth for a wind like this to hold up, so we're actually better having a small Jenny, aren't we? Yeah, because our Jenny... Do you um, remember that much? Yeah, our small Jenny is actually the size of a normal... Of a normal jib. Normal jib. Yeah. Because um, ours is a Genoa. Ours uh, is 130% or something like 125, that. 125, 125. Oh god. Welcome to the good ship Quibble. <laughs> it's a bit like the good ship Shambolic, only <laughs> noisier. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, so we've got the slight wind on the uh, on the, on the beam, which is nice, because it means when we turn round, we've got this wind to take us back as well. Which will be good. Because, of course, when you turn around and put the wind in your backside, you, you take the strength out of the wind. And well, we don't really want to motor back, do we? No, because we wanted to just get some practice We in. wanted to come out, see if we could still remember how to actually manage the boat. And with a few rumps and bumps, I think we're managing. Yeah, well, we'll just need to, hopefully... We've got the tea under control. Yay! So, as a reminder... Oh yeah, I'm going to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me get ready. I'm just going to come away from the wind a bit. Ready any time. No, 
have much resistance holding this. <laughs> okay, so we're very slow. We're 1.7 knots. Okay, we'll so. put, her over, put her over quick. Okay, ready to tack? Ready. Tacking. Come on, babe, take us through the wind. Now she's doing it. She is. Gone slack in this sheet now, I can feel it. Yeah, it's just gone slack. It's coming over. Boom. Helms are and all that nautical stuff. Did I say things like a horror in my heart? I can't remember. <laughs> well, Skipper, you look very relaxed. Is it therapeutic? Oh. I love the silence that you get. It's a very... How should I put this? I mean, so don't get me wrong. I, um, you know, there's different levels of silence that I like and I enjoy. But at the moment, we've got nothing happening at all. We're sailing very slowly, but we're still doing 1.9 knots. So, you know, you'd still get somewhere if you if you had to sail with this. But I can hear the water tinkling and I just, yeah, I enjoy the silence. sheet is on this side, this is the working sheet. Okay. Ready to tack, Skipper. Ready to tack. <laughs> Tagging! Hey. hey! And there she goes. It feels more positive, this one. She's going through it a lot quicker, isn't she? Yeah, it's because she was going faster to start off with. Not like she does in 17 knots, so when she goes around like, a, <laughs> around like a dinghy and that. Oh yeah, but... <laughs> We're actually doing quite well for Salty Lab. Um, she doesn't like being under 10 knots of wind. And we've been sailing in 8. Yeah. So. That's not a bad angle you're on now, Gainer. I can feel the wind, you know what I mean? Okay, let me just. Uh... I'll reset the traveller. God, I'm glad we didn't need to do much of the traveller. It's a flipping great knot in this. Uh, Add it down to the good ship, what was it? Good ship, um... Shambles or something. Sham shambolic. Shambolic, that was it, yeah. <laughs> Word of the week. Shambolic. <laughs> Beverly and I used to have, um... Word of the week, maybe we should reinstitute it. Word of the week. <sighs> so today's word of the, the week, week is, is shambolic. shambolic. But I think, um... Maelstrom, we've used that one for a word as a word of the week. Yeah, but we not very pleasant, but there you go, but we used it. I don't think we can count this as a maelstrom. No, this is definitely not a, a maelstrom. maelstrom. If I had a guitar, it could be a female strum. <laughs> but we've achieved our goal! We got out! Hey! so long achieving a goal of getting out of the marina and not wrecking yourself yeah now the goal is to get into the marina and not wreck ourselves <laughs> <laughs> how the heck we're still going forward i have no idea <laughs> the wind is down to 4.8 knots we're still traveling at 1.2 speed over ground I think uh, the tide must be coming in slowly because we ain't getting anything from the wind. So what are we currently doing, Skipper? <sighs> Drifting! No! Oh, we're uh, going to have soup soon. Yep, got some soup Mr. D. Yeah.
great passage food of soup. Even though we're not passaging. Even though we have not much of a passage. <laughs> no! Getting out of the marina and going back in. <laughs> Yay! Tacked though. But in a way it invigorates you. Because now that we've actually got out of the marina, I feel like we can actually start achieving some of our goals. Okay, fair enough. They're not fantastic goals, they're just very local goals, but at least if you have some goals you can try and achieve them. <laughs> yeah, well what, uh, what I wanted to do was hoist the seal and see how many ducks were living in the seal bag. Fortunately <laughs> the answer wasn't done. Uh, I think something we're going to worry about today. That's what Vera calls the boat that never moves. Normally I'd be in it from the corner by now. Yes, no? I'll do the best. We on? Well, after achieving our goal of getting out of the marina, we're treating ourselves to steak and wedges. <laughs>